Today I want to talk about some influential leaders in the disability rights movement that I think you should know about. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Love Disabled Life. In today's video I want to talk about five individuals who are trailblazers and pioneers in the disability rights movement. Now I know five is in no way comprehensive. There have been dozens and dozens and dozens of leaders who have helped pave the way for the rights that uh, many in the disability community enjoy today. These are just five that I learned about in my course of learning about disability history and I want to uh, bring them to your attention in a video today. The first person I want to start with is Ed Roberts. He's often referred to as the father of the disability rights movement. Roberts was the first student with severe disabilities to attend the University of California at Berkeley. Roberts contracted polio as a child and for many years he lived and advocated inside of an iron lung. His advocacy started as a student attending Berkeley, starting the first Disabled Student Services Center, and then went on to help co-found the first independent living center uh, in the country, the Center for Independent Living in Berkeley. There in the community of Berkeley, he advocated to get things like curb cuts put in on sidewalks, wider doorways, and ramps, so he and his disabled uh, friends and community members could navigate their neighborhoods. In 1976, newly elected Governor Jerry Brown appointed Roberts to head the Department of Rehabilitation, the agency that had once deemed him too disabled to work. The next person I want to highlight is Judy Human. Judy Human's resume on advocacy is long and distinguished, but she is probably maybe no most best known for co-founding the World Institute on Disability. She became the first person to be in a wheelchair who taught in the New York City school system. Uh, she had to fight for that job. They said that she could not work or be a teacher because she was disabled. She ended up winning a lawsuit and she taught there for three years. She went on to be the director of the Department of Disability Services in Washington, D.C. But in 2010, she became the special advisor to disability rights for President Obama. You probably also maybe recently learned of Human through her feature in the film Crip Camp, which was nominated for an Oscar. And she also has a channel here on YouTube called The Human Perspective, and I encourage you to check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. So if Roberts is referred to as the father of the disability rights movement, Justin Dart is somewhat considered the grandfather, specifically of the ADA. Justin Dart was a businessman until he became disabled, and that transformed his life into becoming an advocate for disability rights. He worked tirelessly to help draft the ADA, which went into law in 1990. He did things like tour the country, hosting workshops and um, meetings on hearing the stories of disabled people across the country. Dart also co-founded the American Association of People with Disabilities. Number four on my list is Reverend Wade Blank. Now you probably haven't heard of Blank per se, but you may have heard of the organization he helped found, which is ADAPT. ADAPT is an organization which initially worked to get accessible transportation, so basically lifts for people in wheelchairs to be able to use buses, but in the years since those goals were accomplished, ADAPT moved on to uh, the issue of deinstitutionalization, meaning helping people who have disabilities who are um, stuck, for lack of a better word, in nursing homes who, uh, by the law, should be allowed to live in the community of their own choosing. Blank himself was a non-disabled former recreational director for a nursing home, and that's how he became inspired to want to help residents who didn't want to live there anymore uh, move out and, like I said, live in the community of their choosing. Number five on my list is somebody near and dear to my heart. I never met this individual, but I do belong to the organization he founded, and that is Billy Barty. Billy Barty was the founder of the Little People of America organization, an organization that I belong to. Barty was an American film actor and television star who stood only three feet nine inches tall, which coincidentally is around how tall I am. Barty had cartilage hair hypoplasia dwarfism, so that is a form of dwarfism, and LPA uh, encompasses people with all different types of dwarfism and people with short stature such as myself. The first LPA meeting was in 1957 in Reno, Nevada, and 21 members attended. 
Today membership, I believe, is well over 10,000, maybe more than that. So yeah, there's five individuals who have been influential in the disability rights movement in some way or another. And like I said, there are many more. I'll do another video highlighting more. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like. Leave a comment below if you want to keep the conversation going. And hey, if you want to subscribe to see more videos, please do. I'd love to have you as part of the Love Disabled Life community. And as I always say, you may not love every day, but you should still love who's living it. Thanks again for watching. Bye.